Okay. So your argument doesn't okay. make no sense. Okay, okay, okay. Christian okay, argument. okay. Let me let me answer. Let me answer you. So, uh, do we follow the old covenant? Do we follow the new covenant? What do we follow? We follow? The new covenant. Right. So okay. under new covenant, do we follow the old covenant now? No, you follow the new covenant. Thanks. So, wait, so, wait, wait, so, wait, so in the old testament okay. is the old covenant, the new testament is okay. new covenant, okay. right? You know, what's the you know, what's the you know what's the equivalent of what you just said? You know, you know what you just said right now? Yeah. It's the equivalent of saying. This is only the new is covenant and the old covenant with yeah. abrogation. abrogation. It's like saying Allah abrogates God only became important the day Jesus Christ came down as incarnate as a man. So before Jesus Christ came down incarnate as a man, was God important then? Was the Old Testament important then? Yeah. So. Yes? So if it's in the Old Testament and God has said it himself, for you to critique uh, blasphemy laws, you are doing blasphemy of your own God. That's Why? a joke. Why? What do you That's a joke. About? Do you understand covenant? Why? I'm talking civilly. I'm talking civilly. I'm talking civilly. But don't shout at me. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very kindly. Just tell me what you said right now. You understand what I said? Okay, cool. I'm oh, you don't understand it. See that? Because you know the thing is, if you understand your religion as a Christian, you cannot talk about many things. That's why I said you understand what you're talking about. You cannot talk about concubines. You cannot talk about apostasy laws. If you do talk about as a Christian, it only shows you're ignorant of your own religion. Maybe like a liberal that disguises himself as a Christian. That's not about Christianity. But if you're a real Christian, you would never say that. Because when you are saying the apostasy laws is there's something yes, terrible wrong with it. You are blaspheming your own God. No, so we find it in the Bible. You know what I'm saying, bro? Let it tell him himself. He, I'm talking to him. He what is the question? Go ahead, my brother. Wait, wait, wait. Bro, bro, he's you in the face, so we, can, we have to like jump in. If we nah, come on, one on one. I'm not what is the question? What is the question? He's this guy's intelligent man. He can speak to himself. Please respect my brother. Please respect my brother. That's what I'm going to do. 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 In the new covenant, yeah. it tells me to love everyone, right? It tells me to love everyone. Yeah. So do you think in my new covenant, when God has when God has said that mounted the sermon in Matthew chapter five, six and seven, yeah. it talks about the sermon, the laws that we are given as in the new covenant, right? That's what we follow. Right? So does it say anywhere that they may need to follow the apostasy law anymore? It does not, right? So which is why we don't follow the apostasy law anymore. But on the other hand, as for the new old testament, I understand your reason that you also because you read the Old Testament so you also adhere to it because it's the word of God as an inspiration of God basically I understand your reasoning but when we are told that he has come to fulfill the law so he has given us a new laws to live by when Jesus came on earth so that's the laws we live by now basically right and also when I I want to resonate with you because why so my understanding is even though you deny or you disagree or whatever you want to say, I understand. But my point towards is Islam, why did I leave? So can you imagine? Just reason. So we'll leave that behind. I'm so just reason. Just reasoning. Just reasoning with you. Okay. Of when you talk about exorcism and everything else, right? Or now I'm a Christian of this and this. I can understand. Would you? Do you? Do you think you can reason? Or do you? Can you actually be okay with someone? marrying a six-year-old okay. and can you be okay with that okay. in all honesty being a man being okay. a father as well are you okay with that okay you know what ask him, no, 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 no. I'm asking him. I'm asking him. According to the Quran, I'm asking him. Then no one's interrupting you and I'm interrupting. I'm talking to him. Please, you, you know, thank you. You, you know what you should try now. You asked me an emotional question. Of uh, course. You didn't of ask course. the right question. You didn't say is it right or wrong. You said to me, "What do I think about it? Ask what me. is my preference?" Right. Yes. I just want to demark that that you are not talking about um, right or wrong no more. Now you're talking about my preference. Just the same way when you're just talking about apostasy laws, right. when I showed you as a Christian, you have no right, zero, if you understand your religion, to talk about it. Because like we blaspheme your own God. I'm talking to him, sister, please. So, so, just, so, just, 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 so the point I'm making is, right? We can go down the tropes yeah. of Islam, and, and, and I can do the same about Christianity, right? But what I would say is, that is a dishonest question, right? Because even, okay. even no matter which way the question goes, it would not um, debunk or disprove the notion that we Muslims believe that the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him was a messenger of God. That's what I'm very interested in. Is the religion true? Not what do I like, what do I dislike. See what I'm okay. saying? So that's what I'm saying. So I would, we can go down the road if you want to. Right. But for example, just like the apostasy laws, when he said, ah, oh, as, as a Christian, we only follow the new covenant and we believe in love and we have to follow all this old stuff. Well, guess what? The Christians in the last few centuries do not believe that. If you go to canon law, if you go to the history of Christianity, when they had political power, not like right now, they didn't believe that. They instituted, sorry, they instituted slaves 
of no course, Bible, you see, Lord, because they're the different interpretation that you had, because they understood the Old Testament, for example. So, this idea of like Christianity, anything you want to say about Islam right now, whether it's child marriage, whether it's slavery, whether it's concubines, whether it's apostasy laws, <laughs> I'm telling you, it is in your own tradition. So you cannot talk about it. If you want to talk about um, child marriage, we can start talking about Christian history and see what they have done, right? And you will realize that was an institution that is age old and has only changed in the West recently with the Industrial Revolution, with the capability of people being able to have a 12 year vocation, with people, you know, we can go into the sociological as to why it's the case, right? But we are saying it's not a deep bunk of Islam. I would encourage you to ask questions about actually is Islam true or not, rather than try to make Jesus or okay. Muhammad look bad. Okay, That's fair enough. Okay, fair enough. Thank you. Fair uh, enough. I I'll listen I to you. And, uh, yeah, sure. I'll, I'll, I'll let you jump in, but I'm going to say one thing there. Edmund. So, when Jesus, in in first century, so uh, in, during his lifetime, he has given a sermon and he has said that if you offend a child, it's better for you to kill himself. Right? Is that again? Jesus talks about. Yeah. It's, it's sorry. Uh, Jesus talks about that you if you offend a child, yeah. you rather kill yourself. Jesus told. I understand you don't believe in that. Okay. Yeah. The guy's a tension man, let's speak to himself, bro. He doesn't need a commentary, bro. Okay, I'm, I apologize, go ahead, bro. I apologize. Right? Yeah. So Jesus uh, tells to, for it be better for the person to put a noose around his neck on a millstone and throw and cast, him, then cast himself down in the deepest, darkest ocean and kill himself, right? To, rather than to offend a child. So that's what he should do. But then seven centuries later, yeah. how does God change his mind? Okay. So if if someone is offending a child, okay. I, I'm not. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna use any any bad language here because we are having a very civil, a good discussion here, right? That. So I'm not gonna abuse or say anything in that way. Yeah. But I'm saying, so it's seven to six centuries later, it's okay for someone to marry a six-year-old. But even though, okay, fine, people might have done it. Okay. People might have done it. People in the Old Testament might have done it. But, okay. but, 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 but the man in the question that we are talking over here is the actual prophet of, of and, the, and, the, and the one uh, like prophet of Islam basically, okay, right? Yeah, so yeah, okay, we're cool. talking about him here. Okay. So is it so is it any 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 sort of can you rationalize in a way that a God changes mind six years six centuries later that it's okay to, for for this to happen now? Okay. How 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 does that work? I don't know. Okay, do you know what the problem is? Okay. You're following on from a false premise, right? False you know, premise. Let, let, let me tell you why. If the critique, if you, this guy. I'm not so, brother, uh, brother. Yeah, I'm enjoying the conversation. Let me talk to this guy, please. So if he came from. Yeah, I, I don't know. Bro. Is, uh, Muhammad's time was like 12, anyway. So Muhammad yeah, yeah. Okay, bro, let, let's ask to talk about right? So what I would say is. If you're still talking this marriage, right? You acknowledge that it happened in the Old Testament, right? I don't need to go in there, right? I, wait, 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 I don't know what sect you follow on, bro, but for example, if you're a Catholic, then you would not certainly be able to talk because they want to bring Rebecca in and the Catholic is supplied to be. But put, put it aside, right? The time of Jesus Christ himself, we know that child marriage was rampant. If you even go back in this country 100 years ago and you look at the time of people get married, oh, is it good? it's a big difference. Sister, 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 you can talk to him so. He doesn't need cheerleaders, man. So, in the time of Jesus Christ, when he was alive, we know that child marriage was rampant around the time in, in, in Jerusalem where he left, right? Now, the question would be why do we not find love in Christianity denouncing it? In all of Old Testament, New Testament, we have no minimum age of marriage, we have no condemnation of child marriage, and we know the time of Jesus Christ that around him there was everywhere child marriage, but he never says nothing about it. Your God apparently, because God himself, so we find in Old Testament, and when God was on earth, God didn't say nothing about it, he was all around him. He could have condemned it. Um, Not one verse in the Bible we can find. Uh, so I'll that's what I'm saying you're following from the false premise. Because yeah, exactly. you're presuming that child marriage is a wrong thing, right? And guess what? That is a liberal critique. Okay. But you're not liberal, you're a Christian. So I want you to critique it from your point of view. Right. So when when we talk about offending a child, how broad would the spectrum be in that regard? How, how broad do you think the spectrum can go when it talks about offending a child? I would say that Aisha Allah was very happy to marry the Prophet himself. He's a if you want to talk about from a uh, point of view, you're not a high value guy. Or this guy's literally messing of God, right? He's a general, he's this. And if you look at her, how she turned out, if you're going to make a philosophical argument about morality and how it's consequentially wrong, that's not going to work because she's a scholar of Islam. 
She's one of the most cool people in the whole religion. She's very highly rated. So this idea of this marriage somehow affected her negatively and stuff like that, you've got no evidence for it. Actually, with evidence to the contrary, she turned out to be a very important person in history. So if you're gonna make an argument of it's wrong, tell me why, because there's nothing from the Christianity or the Bible or canon law that you can bring up. So you science, you suffer, tell me why there's something wrong with her marriage. You're offending a child, so offending, even sexually offending a child. Do you not see the point it's making? Offending a child, and you, 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 literally reasoning with me. Or that it's okay for 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 someone to marry a six-year-old and then have sex with her when she's nine. Is it? As okay, a, okay, 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 even emotionally, even today, even, even today, there's people before they're born, their parents have already arranged marriage for them. And when they get old enough and they get uh, maturity, they get married. Is that immoral? I tell people now they, ca they can't do it. You, can, you tell someone what you can do with his own child? From where, you, where, where's that critique coming from? Because you know that's nonsensical. Just because she got a pre arranged marriage when she's young, which is at that time the norm. And she got married at a time that we know she was past puberty. She was meant to be true, as we know she was a scholar, and she was right from young. And also, her own parents were involved in it. Where is the harm? Where is the wrong? It sounds to me like you're coming from, a, once again, a liberal point of view, where you see it around the age of 18 here, 16 in America, 21 in Italy, 12 years old there. Depending on what time zone and you're a pedophile or you're of age, with arbitrary standards. You have to prove it. You have to establish that that is true. I told you already, you have got no Christian critique. So give me at least a scientific critique, or historical critique, or something like, because you don't have none. I'll tell you that right now. It's just an emotional argument to try to smear our prophet. So a 54 year old um, man having a sex I'm, I'm with a nine It's, oh. it's, it's not not it says pass the flower in age, so the Bible does address it. Bro, trust me, you don't need help from me. You're a smart guy. You don't I need mean, help, trust why, me. Why should we, the Bible says we shouldn't go in two. You know, I'm only giving him a You know, make his own point for me. Like the first Corinthians, as he's mentioning, first Corinthians chapter seven, verse thirty-six says, But if any man think that he believeth himself uncomely towards his virgin, if she has the flower of her age and needs so required, let him do what he will. He sinneth not, let them marry. She would pass. She has a pass of virginity. Pass but the thing is but the thing is but the thing is okay, but you mentioned you know, you know, you know if I start opening up the Bible and I start talking about the the Bible says about women, okay it's gonna get sticky. You know that? Like right now, I tell you something's out of the Bible. If all you're gonna say to me, all you're gonna say to me is, all you're gonna say to me is, Paul abrogated the, oh, right. the New Testament, or which you can establish itself again. Like I want a sincere critique. Why there's anything wrong with child marriage? If you don't, do you accept that is a right wing trope, a stereotype? You use okay. this middle prophet, which does not debunk religion of Islam. Islam makes more sense than Christianity in every single way. No, why do we talk about that? Okay. Why do we talk about that? Okay. Why do we talk about that? Okay. 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 Truth, this Allah like, doesn't right. In this right. country, right. there was a king that married a seven-year-old. How can we not follow the king? We follow Jesus. Right. Okay. Okay. Still Jesus never married. How would you? Don't follow the Jesus never married. Jesus never married. I'm not giving him the same praise. Okay. okay. The, 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 the thing is, you you mentioned and just a sec, guys. Just a sec. Cease fire. Thank you. Brother, do you want to play that game? please. Just a sec. Just a sec. A civil discussion. Thank you. Please. But so the thing is, you said in regards to uh, what do you call it? The age, age as it has not been an issue at that time, at those times, right? But the thing is, as a man of God, right? If you understand, like a nine-year-old, it can affect her psychologically. Can did it? Did it? We know everything about her life. Did it? Do you know, yeah, do you know did everything it? about her life? We know a lot about her life. She's one of the most documented people in the world. But who documented her life? Do you know about hadith traditions? I know about. Do you know, know about seers? Do you not know about Islam? Do you not know like most of how meticulous we are? The reason why Christians have so many critiques of Islam is because we have everything detailed in our tradition. We have a very rich tradition, which Christians don't have, by the way. So we know a lot about her life. We know where she was born, her parents, where she died. We know so much about her. Tell me the damage. Show me the damage. There is none. She's a scholar. She will love her because of the Bible believers. She's one of the most highly rich people in history. Where's the damage? Brother, I would honestly say, with all hands on my heart, yeah. there was a good discussion, but what I would tell you, that I sincerely, sincerely ask you to have a deep think. Okay. Right? That's all I'm gonna say. I understand your point of views. You might, you, you might, you might curse me or whatever you I might think. I wouldn't do that. But I'm, but I'm just saying. Yeah. 
whatever you might think of me, but have a think of what I've said to you. I have not. I have come to you in a very reasonable manner. I have not. I have not. I have not come to you in any aggression. I believe you. But the thing is, because I've not even abused or cursed whatever or whoever you follow, right? Because at the end of the day, the. The regard is, yeah. if you if you understand my point, yeah. it's just coming from a very, very, very humble nature here. You know, I actually believe you because of your mannerism and the way you talk, and you're very like you seem like a nice guy. So I'm gonna say something to you. If you're gonna critique Islam from a liberal position, and you say I'm atheist or I don't believe in religion or whatnot, but I think this is wrong based on, and then I can tell you why is it wrong. You can talk about United Nations Human Rights Charter, you can talk about science, you can talk about this. And we can have a discussion based on those. Basis. Because now you're standing on beliefs, right? But my <coughs> point is simply that that critique there is dishonest coming from a Christian. Like I said, to say about slavery, say about concubine. Some of these people say, because I don't think you see like some of these Christians, like the lady here. They say anything hateful, they want to attack and attack and attack, but they don't care about defending their own religion. You don't seem like that. You seem to say you seem intelligent, you seem like. If you want to attack Islam, show me why the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, was not a prophet. Why he was a hypocrite. Why he was just doing it for money. Why he was... Then I would say, you know, my heart will shake. I'm like, yo, this guy is a fraud, you know what I'm trying to say? But when you're just defending this, this I, because I could do the exact same vice versa. If I go to Christian history and Christian practices and Christian disinterpretation, I can do, why is this person this? Why is this? Blah, 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 blah. But it's not really getting to the truth of, is Jesus Christ God? Is Christianity true? It doesn't really attack that. Even if I concede, we say about a semen on a garment, right? Like, it does not debunk the point question. Is this guy a message of God? Is the Quran true? Is the religion true? I suggest you critique yourself on that basis. And then you honestly, no double standards, compare it to Christianity and Judaism and Buddhism, whatever you want to do. And then come your own because you're a smart man. A rational decision, what makes more sense in the light of history, in the light of prophecy, in the light of scientific claims, in the light of um, contradictions, in the light of. You can do your own. Wrong categories. And you come with honest assessment say, if it's a true religion, I've chosen it based on a rational basis. I look into it. But is, bro, is that fair enough what I said? It was a, it was it was a good conversation. And I say none of our yeah, no, you mean, was hateful, I was hateful, there was none of this animosity, this is a sincere intellectual conversation, and I commend you for that. Absolutely, bro. Yeah. Same to you, but the but thing is if once I get to learn more, yeah. we will have more discussions. Yeah. Please sure. look at the Prophet Muhammad's right? And we Muslims will love Jesus Christ.